But while the fight against Ebola continues across the globe, what is happening right here in our own backyard is no different. Liberians across Colorado are now uniting through the Christ Vision Ministries International Church to try and make a difference. Fox 21's Tori Kay spoke with them today. She's in studio now with more. Tori. Craig, the decision to help aid Liberia comes just as the death toll in West Africa passes 4,000. And sadly for these men and women, that number is not just a statistic. Those are friends, family, and loved ones. Tunisia has been slow. We are looking forward to having a 20 foot continuum. Bleach, gloves, and disinfectant now fill this Liberian church, the only tools they have in the fight against the Ebola virus. And I can assure you that every uh, Liberian that lives in Colorado has a family back home, so everybody just in, in, in fear. They say every week they hear of someone who is sick or someone who has passed. A lady who was pregnant and then there were no hospitals to host her, she gave birth to a child. And the child died because she gave birth to a child in the house. There was no nursing aid around. Everybody was afraid. Miles away from home for weeks, they have felt helpless. But the donations they are gathering now are their chance to make a change. Our effort and our focus is on how we can get this thing there as fast as possible to, to help the healthcare workers and families that don't have the means to be able to protect themselves. Since August, they have gathered thousands of items and aren't stopping there until the epidemic is over. We should not panic. Well, we should be calm. We try to calm them down. Uh, the most we can do is help our people back home. For those looking to donate, they still need more gowns, gloves, anything to aid in infection prevention. They're also taking cash donations. 100% of the funds raised will be used to aid the Ebola relief effort. 